We usually start a striker. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna flip it. We're gonna start on the back line, actually, at the right back position because I feel like this is gonna be contentious. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying, well, that's gonna be contentious too. Oh my god! But the best right back in Concacaf in 2022 was Kevin Alvarez. Oh, you went there. It's the best. Why? It's the best one. Yeah, that Why? was interesting. What do you mean? He's the best fullback on the best team in Mexico that won the championship, and he had ten double digit assists in, in Mexico. I do like <laughs> Kevin Alvarez. Okay, so I do like it. Don't tell me you put Sergio Des. I didn't put anybody. I didn't get that far. <laughs> bro, bro, that's right. I was stuck there. No, hear me out. I'm visiting. Okay, I was okay, like so staying got- with my family. I mean, I was thinking, but like, I mean, I guess he had a great year for Mexico. But what would you rather have? Would you rather have like a mediocre year in Europe or a good year in who, Mexico? Who had a mediocre year in Europe though? Des. No, we didn't. He's he had a mediocre. bad year. A bad year. I would rather have a bad Europe. year in Europe than a good year. In Mexico. No, that's true. Man. No, Mexico. No, he's, there's, he's getting trade no, interest. No, which means. There's some good shout outs on my starting eleven who balled out in, in Liga and Mekis. Yeah, there's year. that that's that's trash, bro. He barely right. played it all for okay. Barcelona. Hey, look, that's that's totally fair. Uh, he's he's getting transfer interest, which means he's still a relevant player. Uh I don't think he was awful at the World Cup. So no. I mean hey, that's just that's just my humble opinion. But yeah, Kevin Alvarez, that's fine. Look, that's fine. That's is my number two. It's not but very he well. Thought he out did not have a better year. Than Kevin Alvarez. So you prefer Kevin Alvarez over Jorge Sanchez, who oh, made the move, who had a hundred year in club. America, right? Yeah, America, he played, yeah, yeah. But then got moved to Ajax because yeah. of he had a good year, I assume. Yeah, he had a pretty good year, but I also think he was just one of the exciting Mexican prospects that I think Kelvin happened Alvarez to be on like the team. younger. Than I think they're both twenty three. Oh. No, no, no. Jorge Sanchez is twenty four, I think. But there's a couple. I don't want to go too much into Jorge Sanchez. He is definitely not the best right back in Concacaf, though. I feel like the biggest thing against him is that when he left, right when he went to Ajax. This uh, this young guy Emilio Lara came in, and basically was immediately better than him at America. And now he's looking like one of the guys who could play a pullback for the national team. So I just feel like he was too easily replaced. You know what I mean? Like it was it was kind of it was. But does that take away from his year overall? If he had a year good enough to take him to Ajax. Okay, for me, this is how I look at it. I think he had a pretty good year, okay. but and it was good enough to warrant a move. But Kevin Alvarez's production was also good enough to warrant a move. He just hasn't made it yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. And since he went over, to, since Jorge Sanchez went over to Ajax, I would say he's been okay. I'm not gonna lie. I don't watch their their regular season games, but I follow a couple of Ajax accounts that talk about him. He's gotten pretty flamed though lately. <laughs> Dude, did you see what Wesley <laughs> saw, Snyder said about uh, him? Yeah, like, Wesley Snyder was like those Mexican guys yeah, on the team. Like they they're trash. <laughs> oh, yeah, he just said that. <laughs> yeah, and you know he's kind of like in and out of the lineup. I just can't go with that guy. Okay. Kevin Alvarez played, I think, 36 out of 30 – sorry, 37 out of 38 potential games That's in nice. Liga Mekis. He, That's nice. And he was not subbed off a single time. He missed one game because of, like, a thigh injury. No, I really like Kevin Alvarez. So 37 games, 10 assists. He had, like, okay. one goal in, like, the playoffs. But I, yeah. I wasn't even going to – Any that. argument because uh, Jorge Sanchez started three out of the four World Cup games over Kevin Alvarez? No, because Jesus Gallardo started – Every game at left back, and he's worse than Martiaga in every single sense. But I mean, that's a Tata Martiaga. Fair enough. Fair enough. Who'd you have? Uh, I kind of been like on the fence. I've been like Sergio Dest, and then I went. So now I kind of changed. I went Alistair Johnston. Oh, the that's Canadian? Even worse, yeah. dude. Whoa. That okay. Is even worse. I didn't think we were going to start off with the Canadians. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He I was at uh, Montreal, Nashville, and got a move to Celtic because of his good year. Yeah. You know what? Okay. 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 I did see that he moved abroad. Like right after the World Cup, they said. Yeah, right after. Yeah, yeah this this. So, what was his year window. like in Nashville, and has he played for Celtic? He's like a key year. player for them. He's like, and he's for, like yeah. for Nashville. Yeah, and he was a starter in the World Cup for Canada. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He had a pretty good year. He's like a really good. Like he's kind of yeah. like a wing back, I guess, for like yeah, somebody. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, perfect. So is Kevin Alvarez. You much, know, that's what they want for Canadians. Much they more like an offensive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he does play like a dirty bastard whenever he plays for Canada. So I will give him that. <laughs> I just kind of okay. like that play. Attack. That's an interesting shout. I I feel like I was kind of paying attention to him now that he moved to Celtic, but I, I just didn't watch enough. Yeah, but I mean, I've watched more MLS than I watched Liga Mekki, so I can't have a good Oh, that's fair. That's fair. I'm the yeah. opposite, so okay. That's fair. Yeah. I love them. Mm. You know what, like, ballpark, what were his stats looking like? I got out. I couldn't tell you his stats. I just know he's got a lot of praise. He'd be considered, like, one of the best right backs in MLS. Okay. I mean, moving from MLS over abroad. 
That's a, that's big. It's, that's okay. a big move. Okay, so in 2022, he was in Montreal. He was in Montreal? Yeah, he was in Nashville before that. Oh, so he was in Montreal yeah, that yeah, year. Yeah. Okay, see. He had four goals, four assists. So that, that's pretty good. Kevin, good. Uh, Alistair Johnson. Alistair Johnson, four goals, four assists. I don't know why I had him. He, he was in Nashville. Yeah, I mean, he's got a 7.5 rating. Uh, they've got him playing right oh, mid, Jesus center back, Christ. and right back. Terrible yeah. take right away. That's pretty, pretty good for the retirement here. league. He's He's got a 7.5 rating, which is not bad for this website. Like, not bad at all. That's only his three games for Celtic. Though, yeah. Right? yeah, true. Very true. But that's that's what matters to me. Like, he was good enough to warn a move over there. Like, yeah, what matters to me is so how he's hard been playing to pick since Sergio then. Dest. Because, like, he barely yeah. played. He barely played. And when he did for Barcelona, they, like, hated it. Because you like, yeah. are deluded if you pick Dest. For, yeah. yeah. For the that's record, I know I'm going to get flamed. I did not pick Dest. I abstained. You didn't pick anyone. I didn't pick anyone. <laughs> that guy no. didn't pick Dest either. That, that was incredibly shit. loud. Holy shit. Yeah. I feel okay. I, I think Des might have set the record in La Liga for like most substitutes at halftime, like most times you were taken off. Like the man always played a 45 and came off. Yeah, no, he was crazy. He's not even a starter for Milan, who has he a must terrible like, right back. So. He must Calabria like, crush. Okay, Calabria's not trash. He's like a mid, but he's average. He's yeah, like he mid-table. can't and he can't break in over him. No, yeah, yeah. that that's that's pretty damning. Okay, so Jake, who, who do you have? I had Joe Scally. Okay, I'm not upset at that. I'm not upset. No, I like that. Yeah, I think I was just rating him being able to start consistently at a Mulchen Gladbach. Yeah. yeah. That's mainly it. I, I mean, he didn't get a sniff of the U.S. men's <laughs> national team at all. Yeah. That's but, uh, you know, playing in Germany and starting in the Bundesliga, that's that's a, uh, a tall task. It's something to write home about. Yeah. 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 yeah he's, like, he's like, what, 21, 22? Yeah, I really like Started that. almost every game, right? Yeah. Uh, he's he he's really shoot. young, really young, and I think hopefully he can learn a bit uh, about defense from the mastermind over there, Koei Takura. Maybe. He's probably taught him a few things already, I imagine. Probably he's probably like, this is the F word in Japanese, and Joe Scott like, oh, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> that way he can Sick. yell that at the ref, he won't get a yellow card. It, yeah. Smart. Unless he's of Japanese descent, of course, in which case straight red. Uh, I feel like, I just want to say Joe Scally, when we were putting this together, he is by far the, like, most hope high profile or best player that I have seen the least of. Yeah. Yeah. I've barely seen this man play except a couple highlights and I can't trust highlights. I forget he exists. And then I'm like, yeah, I didn't even God, put him on my know. list of like my top eight. Cause I forgot he was alive. Like I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he was exist. I try to put like a reason I didn't put players in on mine and Joe Scally was literally like, haven't seen play. Yeah. Like I just yeah. haven't seen him play. I cannot in good conscience. Agree. Yeah. Like I just, and I think that's a good shout though. I think most Americans – actually, I don't know if they'd go Scally or Dest. I feel like a most, lot would go Dest. An average yeah. U.S. fan would go Dest. Cause, well, because they've seen Dest him in the Barcelona kit. Yeah. Merchant, bro. He's a step over – It's Merchant. not even that. They see him in the Barcelona kit, and they're like, okay, so he's good. Yeah. No, Barcelona's just ass. Yeah. It's like, bro, he or couldn't even displace Danny Alves. No. He was 39. Like, come on now. Yeah. yeah. His stats are terrible. Everywhere he goes, he can't start. And I feel like I, I, we should we should keep it pushing. But I feel like yeah. the last thing I want to say about Kevin Alvarez is like, I guarantee you, if he was Spanish instead of Mexican, was already in Europe, he'd be playing at a top club. The only reason he's still in Liga Mekis is because Pachuca does not want to sell him. I saw that Porto's looking at him right now for like twelve million. That'd be a good move. It would be, be a great move. But 12, great 12 mil is a lot. For it is a, a lot for him for a right back. Um, I just feel like he's he's definitely a kind of victim of circumstance.